everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, I am so happy you stopped by. And today I've got a review for you guys on the much anticipated Maybelline Blush to Nudes palette. Now, when I saw this was going to be coming out on all the blogs online and all that talking about it, I got so excited. And you guys know that when I'm excited about a product, I am prone to stalk my stores. So I stalked my Walmart and found this, and I've been testing it for a really long time. You guys know, before I previously reviewed the original nudes, as well as the Smokes palette, and I'll try to link both of those reviews down below. And I am going to kind of compare and contrast these in relation to the blush to nudes. So to start off, this is a Walmart exclusive palette. You cannot get this anywhere else as of right now. And I don't believe the original nudes was. I think it's kind of a, you can find it anywhere now and I don't think it was ever exclusive. However, the smokes, I found out after I reviewed it, it was exclusive to Walgreens. And now it's popping up in Ulta, so I don't know if we'll see it popping up in Walmarts and other places, but at the time it was released, it was exclusive to Walgreens, and it may be still exclusive to Walgreens and Ulta. So do bear that in mind, and there's also the Brights, which I haven't reviewed and tested or anything. It's exclusive to Target. So they've kind of gone on a little train with these being exclusive, and I don't know if they sell more because they're exclusive, but... I just am prone to buy these things because I love the idea of a drugstore palette. So I picked this up at Walmart. I believe it was $9.88 or $9.98. I'll try to link it down below if I can find it online and I'll for sure let you guys know the price. But it's really pretty packaging. That's what drew me to it to start off with. I mean, look at that. That is the girliest, most rose gold packaging. I hope you guys can even get a good view of it because it is kind of flashing back when I'm looking at it. But I'll open it up to, and we'll talk about what's inside. The shades also drew me to it. Rose gold, really pretty. Um, I heard somebody compare this palette to a bridal palette, and these are totally bridal colors in my opinion. And as we're entering this summer kind of wedding time season, um, I feel like a lot of people have weddings this time of year, so it probably has not only drawn me in for that reason, but it does have such girly, really pretty packaging. So I want to start off too with talking about a lot of people have compared this to the Naked 3 even before it came out. Um, some people have called it dupes, whatever, but in my opinion, I'm going to preface this with, I don't see this as being a dupe or a replacement in any way for my Naked 3. Um, the pigmentation is not the same. The colors are not exact dupes. Now, if you're looking for a comparable product, definitely a comparable product. Uh, that same color scheme totally has a similar color scheme to the Naked 3. But it is not an Urban Decay Naked 3 dupe by any means. These are not exact shades. And I've swatched them all. I've tried them on my eye to see how similar they are. And my Naked 3 and this are not exact dupes. They're similar same color family, but if you're looking for something that is an exact dupe for the Naked 3, I hear the Revealed palette, I believe that's by Coastal Scents, I think. A lot of people are saying that's a dupe, but this is not a dupe in my opinion, and I've heard a lot of people agree with that as well. So I did want to preface this review with that, just in case you were thinking of getting this, um, thinking it'd be a dupe. It's not a dupe, similar color scheme, but not a mirror image. So. Now that we've talked about that for a little bit, let's move on to the actual quality of the product and how it looks and all that. So you're getting a total of 12 shades, six on the top, six on the bottom, and I would say this is a range of shimmers and satins, maybe verging on a semi-metallic. I wouldn't say it's a full metallic. Um, none of these are Sparkle City. They're very subdued shades, and I think that's another reason why it's been compared to a bridal look, because these are very natural shades. Um, I know that may be a little bit hard for you to believe seeing it on camera with these darker shades, but those are not super dark. Um, I could do a light smoky eye with this, but these are not dark, dark shades. So talking about that, um, there's not really a good range of mattes in here. You have one matte, in my opinion, and it's this, uh, this light pink, whoop, that pink right there. And that's a good matte, really pretty blending color, but there's no matte skin tone shade and there's no matte brown. And my issue is, with this type of palette, I feel like it's got so many sparkly, shimmery shades in here, you almost just need that matte brown, especially when this kind of pink shade right there is not super pigmented. And we'll talk a little bit more about that later. Um, those of you that have seen my reviews on the other Naked, or not Naked, the other Maybelline palettes know my feelings on these. All of these are kind of that same quality pigmentation-wise, very hit or miss. So, um, 
and I feel like they're just all lacking something. Not, I won't say all. The original nudes is great. There's a good range of mattes, good range of satins, and even some more sparkly, verging on metallic shades. This is a total standalone palette. But the smokes, um, I complained in my review of that one. This one does not have a, a brow bone highlight, really. Um, you get kind of this sparklier shade in that one, but it's very light, and then you get this light pink shade that I would not wear as a highlight just because that can pull very pink or um, it just doesn't show up enough for my liking especially considering this is a smoky palette so along with that kind of trend I feel like this one's not a standalone palette either um, with it lacking so much matte and having so much shimmer and sparkle in here I just feel like you've got to take a travel palette with this, or or not a travel palette, a companion palette with this if you are going to travel. So that's one thing I'll talk about to just speak on the shades. Now, I love these colors, though. I will say that. And I think the color selection is something kind of different for the drugstore. You don't see a lot of these rose gold shades, and if you do, they're paired with different colors. So I like that they're paired with more cool tone shades down at the bottom, like that icy silver over here, paired with this really warm gold up here. I like that they're in the same palette, but I don't like that I would have to take another palette with me. I've done looks with this by itself, and they've turned out decent, but they've not been my favorite, just because there's not enough matte for me, there's not enough to give me a deeper look. This gives a very, very natural look. Even if you use these darker shades down below to kind of smoke out that crease, there's not enough of a deep blending shade to give them a really even feel and look to them. So today, I did pull in my original nudes, which I think these go fantastic together. If you have one, you might as well get the other, I will say that. Very similar and great companion palettes. So I did pull in my nudes today and I pulled in this kind of taupe shade along with that pink one and they paired really well together and I'm not displeased with this look. Um, I may zoom you guys in a little bit and show you later, but I'm not displeased with this look at all. So overall, yeah, it could use a little bit more as far as shade selection in there, but the colors are really pretty. So let me show you the swatches on my hand really quickly as well. So here are the swatches on my hand. You guys can kind of see, um, same kind of thing I felt before. You've got shades like these two on the end here that are really pigmented. That's your gold that kind of verges on a metallic, and then of course your rose gold. But then you've got these top shades. And you can see, I mean, you can barely see those. Um, that matte one is in this row, and it can be built up. I will say that kind of light pink matte can be built up. But as far as those lighter shades, same kind of feelings I had about the previous two palettes. They're just a little bit lacking, and they can't be... Um, they can't be used with one swipe. All of this has to be built up. And I will say the same thing I said about the other two palettes as well. This is very buildable and blendable. So the pigmentation, like I said, hit and miss. But I love these type of palettes for beginners. I, I'm gonna say the same thing I've said before. These are great beginner palettes. And they're great to have as companion palettes to one another. I think these all work really well together. I just do still wish that they would put out these newer ones where they could be standalone palettes just like this nudes. Because I may want to recommend this to somebody, but I feel like I can't always recommend this just because I'd have to say, oh, that'd be great, but you'll have to get a single shadow to go with that as well to maybe blend in the crease or even with the smokes. That'd be great, but you'd have to get a matte brow bone highlight as well. So that's my only issue with it. Pigmentation, hit and miss. But like I've said with the other two, they're so buildable and so blendable. So these colors can be built up. Even that matte shade can be built up. But... As far as if you're expecting Urban Decay quality, no, they're not that, and I'm gonna be truthful about that, but I still like to have these kind of palettes, and I think it's great to be able to take something like this on travel, just because it's inexpensive. If it gets broken, I'm not gonna go cry and be sad all week, but yet this can turn out a pretty look if you take a companion palette with it. So that's what I will say, but I think for the price and the pigmentation, it's worth a shot. If you're looking for something similar to the Naked 3, this is similar. But if you're wanting an exact look-alike, you might want to look further um, as far as checking out other options, seeing what you can get for the price. And I just feel like Urban Decay shadows are very, very... Um, 
hard to do. And especially for a drugstore price, it's gonna be hard to get that. So I will say that, but I think it's a good palette. I've enjoyed it. I'm still gonna play with it, and I don't mind pulling in a companion palette. So if you're that person, or you're a makeup lover, or you just want these rose gold shades, and you've got other palettes or other shades, I totally think you should pick this up. So that's pretty much my review. Um, I did want to mention too these last will on the eye with a primer. I wouldn't worry about them moving around. As long as you do use a primer, I think you should be fine. But like I said, overall, not displeased with this palette. Really enjoying it so far. And I think it's really pretty just to even sit out on your vanity. I'm a sucker for packaging and this is a totally cute palette to have. But I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Be sure to check back in a few days because I've got another drugstore palette that has kind of just amazed me. It has literally amazed me. So I can't wait to tell you guys about that. I had to fight the urge to tell you in this video because I am so excited about this one. We'll be doing a, a tutorial with that one as well. So I hope you guys will stick around for that. If you have not subscribed, now's the perfect time, like I said, so that you don't miss out on this drugstore palette that I'm really excited about showing you guys. So thank you again for watching and I hope you guys have a great day.